the 7th of January this year, the Mitsubishi Shogun travelled down from the Pete Lee area into Hartlepool and rammed a house. What we know now is that this was a precursor to the events that took place later on that weekend. Hurry up and get your fucking people out of here and now! This was a feud between what we call organised crime groups. People who, who operate criminally for their own gain, mainly financially. We can see the, the Mitsubishi Shogun entering the street in Hartlepool and the suspects attacking the vehicle on the driveway there. So we see the accelerant being poured onto a rag and into the back of the vehicle, it's now set on fire as the Mitsubishi Shogun rams the front of the house. You actually see one of the suspects drop a bottle that bottle's later recovered and the DNA profile of Wayne Griffin is found on the rim. Inside that premises were four young children and it was only by sheer luck really that nobody was injured during that incident. The Mitsubishi Shogun then travelled back into the Pete Lee area and was destroyed again by being set on fire and it's in convoy with two other vehicles. Those two vehicles were actually recovered after the offence. Inside, we find baseball bats and some other bottles containing accelerant. Again, we were able through DNA to link those items to our, the suspects in our case. The following day, on the, the 8th of January, in kind of response to this, an aggravated burglary occurred in the Horden area. Hello, police emergency. There's loads of people trying to get in my house, smashing my house and everything up. Okay, can you give me your address, please? Because this uh, house associated with James Davidson was targeted, his organised crime group mobilised themselves in a different Mitsubishi Shogun and lay in wait at an address in 7th Street in Horden in anticipation of an attack on the premises in 5th Street that was controlled by James Stevenson uh, as what he would say was a legitimate business. And eventually, a stolen Ford Transit entered Fifth Street and began to ram the, the business premises. Fortunately, there was nobody within it at the time, um, but it caused extensive damage. James Stevenson and the other defendants, they're now aware that there's an attack taking place on Fifth Street, so they get into the Mitsubishi Shogun and travel down Eden Street to the junction with Fifth Street and as they look down, the Ford Transit is still ramming the business premises on 5th Street. The occupants of the Mitsubishi Shogun then discharge what we now know to be a 9mm handgun towards the vehicle. The Mitsubishi Shogun then makes off towards Easington and is followed in what we would say is a pursuit by the Ford Transit van. And the last sighting that we have of that on the CCTV is in the Haswell area. And interestingly, the Mitsubishi Shogun's later found, a week later actually, burnt out in the Coxo area. So following the reports by members of the public, as you can imagine, there's lots of information that comes into the police pretty quickly. And we've got to establish exactly what the circumstances are that have gone on. Hands out, lie down. Over the coming two to three weeks, 14 people were arrested. At the minute, you're under arrest on suspicion of attempted murder. A conspiracy to discharge a firearm with the intent to injure. Multiple searches were undertaken. Various bits of evidence were seized, including money, uh, heroin, cocaine, quite a significant amount, ammunition and other items that would later become evidence in the case for us. And even though we didn't recover a huge number of phones from our suspects, we still managed to obtain some text messages between the suspects which showed that communication, which showed they were together or had been together previously when we would say that the preparation was being made to commit this offence. We also executed uh, a warrant uh, on a place called Mount Pleasant Farm, owned and controlled by Paul Freyan. On the farm, on the back of a flat back vehicle, we recovered the shell of a 9mm bullet 
And what we were able to establish through the forensic evidence was that that 9mm bullet had been discharged from the same weapon used in the offence on 5th Street. And we can actually go a step further than that as well. We can see because of the angle of the bullet, which we later recovered from the front of the building in 5th Street, we were able to see that that bullet had travelled from the Mitsubishi Shogun. So we were able to prove that the people within that vehicle definitively discharged a gun and that bullet had travelled from the direction of that vehicle. Did you intend to kill the people who were smashing the shops up? Oh, come on. When suspects are arrested, um, they're all interviewed under caution by, by, by police officers. I had no part in this crime. I'm not guilty for it. I've got no acknowledgement of it. That's all I'd like to say. All of the defendants in this case either chose to make no comment to those questions or denied any involvement in, in the offence. That's the back of your truck? Yeah. That is a bullet. That's a 9mm casing from the bullet. Can you tell me what that's doing in the back of the truck that you move in and out of there? I haven't got a clue. Yeah, haven't got a clue. We've obviously undertaken the, these extensive levels of inquiries from witnesses to CCTV to forensics to searches, arrests, etc. And we, we were able to build really strong case against these people. In the face of this, what we would say is overwhelming evidence, all the defendants chose to plead guilty. Can I stop this interview and talk, Mr. Certainly, of course you yeah. can. Ta Time by you. Yeah, time by mate is 15.45. This really has weeded out an entire organised crime group from our communities. I'm proud of the officers who have worked tirelessly to bring these people to justice. Our partners who have contributed really effectively. Our communities who really have stood up and been counted to say that they won't tolerate such behaviour within the community. And I think this acts as a real deterrent for organised criminals who think they can escalate their criminality to such a serious and violent level to say that it just won't be tolerated.